It entered the Light Rock Fortress to get more spells, but no one saw it, and no one could stop it. And as usual, it left its mark, the brand of Valtor. Mm. I can't believe this. How is that possible? How can one man have that much power? Tecna Valtor is not a man. He's a dark wizard on the hunt for more power. That's why we have to stop him before he gets hold of all our magic spells and becomes invincible. But how? We can't even find him. We'll start with the last place he attacked, Light Rock. He must have left behind some magic remnants that would give us a clue as to his whereabouts. Yes! Woohoo! <laughs> you're awesome! <laughs> Monster? That was great, but I need the computer now, so can you get out, please? I'm leaving on a mission to try to find out where Valtor is hiding. Cool! Let me just finish this guy off and I'll be right with ya! Oh, you're a bit too big for my life, Mia! <laughs> Sorry to spoil your fun, Digit. I know how into these things you can get. It's just a silly game, Tecna. I'm ready for a real battle, so when do we leave? Digit, you can't come with me. You're too tiny, and this mission is too dangerous. <laughs> Musa, please, be more careful. Don't worry. I'll clean it up later. Now, Pixies, listen carefully. Valtor might take advantage of our absence to try and sneak into Althea to steal our spells, so be on the lookout. Don't worry, Miss Farragonda. You're talking to the Pixie of Passages. I'll go and put a spell on all the passages in and out of the school. Thanks, Lockett. But as you know, we already have a powerful spell protecting the school. This one. Take it personally, she always acts as if she rules the school. Digit, she does rule the school. She's the headmistress. I'm sorry, Kiko, but you can't come. You're too tiny. What's with people today? You'd think we'd shrunk the way everyone keeps saying we're tiny. Please, keep an eye on Piff for me, okay? Hmm. Well, I don't know, Layla. You think we'll be able to handle that? Piloting this spaceship requires the most advanced training. Beware! A sudden flash from deep space! Raise the reflective shield! Well, I can offer him strong emotions. Oh, yeah? Well, I can make him a nice portrait. Yeah, right. There. Shh. I see you've been taking drawing lessons. Oh, I see. It's not real. Like everything else you do, it's just an illusion. Right. And with my illusions, I'm gonna win Valtor over. Dream on, you fool. Hey, why are you getting so upset? Valtor is not the only man in the magic dimension. You're just saying that because you want him for yourself. Ew, definitely not. He's way too cold and conniving. Stormy is right. We've both seen how you look at him. Yeah, well, so what? Let's say I do want him for myself. I'm the top witch here, and as such, I get first dibs. Uh-uh, no way, forget that! <laughs> Come on, sisters, what's happening to us? In all the time we've been together, we've never been at each other's throats like this. Hmm? There's got to be a way to resolve this dispute efficiently and peacefully. Sure, let me have him. That's the only efficient and peaceful solution I can think of. Ugh! Huh? Well, <laughs> oh. if it isn't one of those mini fairies that hang out with the wings, hello there. Hmm. What? What did you say? Did you get that? No, she's just talking baby talk. Hang on a second. I just got a brainstorm. Don't those pixies have a whole bunch of ancient spells and charms and whatnot? Yeah, just like all magical beings, but why do you ask? Because it could be the solution to our problem. I say whoever gets the pixies collection of spells first also gets Valtor. What do you think? Hmm. Hmm. 
This is getting more and more interesting. Oh, come on, let's go to Pixie Village. For sure, that's where those spells are hidden. Stormy, darling, you forget that the Pixies have moved their village since we tracked it down and took their codex. So let's just make this stupid little Pixie talk. Get her to tell us where their new village is. Yeah? Then what? We don't understand a thing she's saying. I see. I'm surprised at you. Don't you know these Pixies never travel alone? Splashing this pixie a little bit should be enough to make the others come out of hiding. <coughs> oh, that stings! <coughs> spaceship! Spaceship! Duty calls! Contact! Hooray! Come back here, you little... Oh. 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 Libby, go and get the Althea pixies while I keep them fuzzy. Okay, I'm running. Uh, I mean, I'm flying. Hurry up, Livy! The others are all at the Magic Woods ceremony, and the village is completely unprotected! Are you sure this isn't gonna make it any worse? <laughs> How can it get any worse? <laughs> Trust me, I'll take good care of you. Oh, all right, if you say so, I guess. Mm -hmm. oh. Looking for Darcy? She left already, and she's gonna win if we don't hurry. Well, then, what are we waiting for? We're waiting hey! for these cold compresses oh. to work. <gasps> In the meantime, you need to stay still and be very quiet, all right? Oh, oh, hey, now listen, Icy, let's talk, you and me. Why do you say we make a deal, just the two of us, without Darcy? We team up to find Pixie Village, and once we've laid hands on the spells, we can just... Oh, sorry, I forgot. You told me to keep quiet. <laughs> she loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. Yes, she loves me. I knew it. I just wish she'd show it a little more. That's all. Musa, too. She might want to thank me once in a while for tidying up her room. Don't you agree? <laughs> How wonderful it must be to be so little and carefree. Little? What exactly do you mean by little? Well, Tata, little in that sense. You know, little has several definitions. Little can mean limited, humble, small, or it can mean short. But that's not what you meant, right? No, even though we don't actually tower over anyone. Tower isn't tall, high, soaring to the sky. and keep it for yourself. I know what you're up to. You're trying to pull a fast one. You're just like Icy, maybe even worse. Calling all spaceships! Calling all spaceships! <sighs> Wing 3, thank you for the ride and bid you all goodbye! Oh, bye, 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 bye. Huh? Hmm.
Those annoying pests don't want to cooperate. I'll just do it my way. If their secret village is in one of these trees, I will find it. Little ones, where are you? Come on out, we don't want to hurt you. What do you say we split up, Darcy? All right, but there's something I gotta tell you first. What's that? About earlier, I hope you didn't think I was trying to double-cross you, did you? Of course not. In fact, I want you to know that I really want you to win this competition. Right after me, that is. Oh. Hmm. Come on, Pixies, show yourselves. Why delicate and sensitive little creatures like you must just love beautiful and lovely flowers. Ugh, I'm gonna find you yet. Yoo-hoo, tell Darcy where you are. He's coming this way. Ready for takeoff? Hmm? Shh. I'm picking up extreme danger. Follow me. Yoo-hoo, gotcha. <laughs> All right. Who's a pipsqueak? Huh? Amori, look in there and see if you can find out where you that lighter has been. Tell me college. where it is. Hang on a second. Do you guys hear that? Hear what? Uh, oh. Talky tiny talk. My special sensors are picking up Darcy. Hey, everybody, look! I'm up here. Peekaboo! Now it's my turn to surprise you. Huh? <laughs> oh! 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 oh. Whoa, hey, spaceship, are you all right? You don't really think I'm afraid of you, you pesky little fleas. What did you huh? call them? Fleas, I call them fleas. And now it's time for a little pest control. My uncle, the scientist, used to love fleas. He thought they were a fascinating species because huh? they can go anywhere and never get caught. Oh. No, no, please don't do that! I can't stand being tickled! <laughs> Nothing. I guess they're not water creatures. <laughs> no way. She couldn't have found the pixie village before me, could she? Did you stop? She's too weak to hurt us anymore. She's totally exhausted. Oh, all right, but that sure was a lot of fun. Isn't that a shame that the fun things in life are often the ones that are the most short-lived? Oh, Wicey, am I ever glad to see you. I just wanted to say that we shouldn't let a dumb guy thing ruin our friendship. I totally agree. Is everything all right, ladies? It is now. And since we're together again, let's teach those pixies a lesson. Right. And the sooner we do it, the sooner Valtor will be mine. <laughs> They're all trying so hard to impress me. Flattering. Charge! Huh? <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> you go, fairy pets! Come on, this way! Oh no, this is getting ridiculous! I can't get you! You're too small! Look, here we go again. Everyone's calling us small. If only you were a little bigger. Hey, 
Hang on a sec. Now you can't bother me anymore. Are not going anywhere. I am the pixie of love. I'm supposed to love my fellow creatures, not squash them like bugs. Kiko, I'm so happy. Are you okay? <laughs> it's me, Digit. Don't be scared. <laughs> now I'm gonna teach those three to have a bit of respect for little creatures like us. Little, you say? You are much bigger than usual. You are huge, massive, enormous, gigantic, immense, humongous, titanic, colossal, monumental, totally disproportionate. All right, Toon, I get the point. Well, I was just trying to be precise, Digit. Well, since I'm so enormous for once in my life, I'm going to really, really enjoy myself. Huh? <gasps> Oopsie, I think maybe I made them a little too big. So what now, small fry? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> so you're still refusing to tell us where the new Pixie Village is. I will not be a traitor. Too bad, because I don't think you can handle being in the cooler much longer. Quick, we've got to do something or Digit isn't going to make it. Yes, I know. Let me think for a sec. <gasps> Earlier, I read a very interesting thought from Icy. What is it? What do you see? Oh, this is going to be good. Watch this. Ahem. I see there is a man in your lives. And you are waiting for this man to make an important choice between Icy's shining beauty, Stormy's powerful emotions, and Darcy's mesmerizing ways. Who will he choose? He is still undecided, but I, the Pixie of Love, have the power to tip the balance. I can influence with whom he falls in love. All I have to do is sprinkle little pixie dust on the one I choose. Give me that stuff right now. First set digit free. Who do you think you are giving us orders? This game's over. Vantor! Valtor, huh? Techno were here, she'd let him have it big time! This ridiculous contest is over. I need you for other, much more important upcoming battles. Oopsie, some might find this hard to believe, but I just squashed Darcy and Stormy. Well, if it wasn't so gruesome, it would be kind of funny. Too bad. I just started to find these real-life battles way more fun than video games. Now, go and join the others. Then all of you follow me. Oh, there you are. Just a second. I'll come out and you can have your computer back. No, no. You can stay as long as you like. Okay, why all this sudden generosity? Well, no reason really. It's just that, you know, when someone's been away for a while and they come back, they kind of... And so I just thought... Tecna, don't be so namby-pamby. We've only been apart for a few hours. Huh? Hmm. Hey, Toon, what do you say you and I tidy up the room together, huh? Well, actually, I've got something else to do. Do you mind? Here. But... <laughs> Have you seen Kiko? Mm -hmm. That's strange. Whenever I'm back from a mission, he's always the first to greet me. I don't get it. Huh, some mission. We couldn't find any trace of Valtor. A lot of strange things have been happening today, don't you think, Musa? Digit, Kiko, huh? and huh? Pixies and Fairy Pets. Hey, girls! The Pixies and Kiko saw Valtor today! Say what? Yeah, and it sounds like Digit actually managed to chase him away. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. But I want to point out that this was truly a team effort. We all worked together.
together. The Pixies, Kiko, and all the fairy pets. Oh, how careless of me. With all that's going on, I forgot to take down the barrier. In light of today's events, and thanks to Digit's efforts, we now know that Valtor still has the Agador box. And that's quite an important find, given that today we learn nothing else. Hmm. Digit, you really were a very big help today. Actually, you'd be surprised just how big a help I was. <laughs> <sighs> I can't believe we've reached the Believix level. It was like all the forces of nature united in one single moment. Check out the clothes. They're amazing. Thanks, Roxy. The minute you believed in us, we transform. I, I believe in you now, and I hope you beat these creepy guys. Ogron, what happened? It's simply a lame fairy trick. Let's get rid of them and get the girl back. <laughs> Nice one, Stella! I see someone's been reading the Book of Fairies! I knew there was more to it than just pretty pictures! <gasps> <gasps> Don't come any closer! I'm a great shot! Don't worry, Roxy! We'll use our Believix powers now! Techno Shock! <laughs> Anybody remember reading the chapter concerning my new powers, huh? No, but I learned mine by heart. Stereo Crash! Oh, I don't hear anything! Finally, it looks like our powers are affecting the wizards. Ogron, what should we do? They're much stronger now. <laughs> Just leave it to me. <laughs> ah! Musa! Silly fairies, you thought a little upgrade was enough to challenge us. Please. Hunters, attack! Don't worry, Musa. I'll get him. Fire arrow! <laughs> <laughs> Summer thunder! Watch out, Flora! Double eclipse! Thank you, Stella. So you did study your powers. Let's just say I'm a really fast learner. <laughs> Did you hear that, Dumon? The kitten is showing her claws. Lazlo! Oh no! Roxy's trapped under the Morphix! Ogron! The girl disappeared! And don't just stand there! Find her! I'm so sorry I got you involved in all this, R2. Our life was so peaceful before the Winks arrived and those fairy hunters. Huh? Is somebody there? Huh? Come out! Why, you're just a kitten. I know, little one. It's terrible to feel all alone. That's why friends are so important. I have R2, and now you have me, okay? <laughs> He's too fast! What are they doing? I'll go see! <gasps> the Nature Fairy! If we weren't sworn enemies, you'd be my favorite! Nice of you to say! Autumn Wind! These are her dog's prints. You sure about that? We need to get going. Can you make it, R2? Yeah, I can see them now, Ogron. I see that flea-infested mutt. They're hiding in a back alley not far from here. But I still don't know precisely where. Well, find out then! Where'd they go? I don't know, but we gotta find Roxy fast. Ha! Look! 
Look, the boulevard. We should be safe here. Are you okay, dear? Yes, thank you. I'm just really tired. My car's right here. Can I give you a lift somewhere? Can you please take me to the Fruity Music Bar? That place on the beach? No problem. Hop in. <gasps> Don't just stand there like a statue. Move! What is this man doing? Come on! I don't believe this! No, please don't! Stay in the car and don't get out no matter what! Actually, lock yourself in. And don't let them out either. Huh? Mm. Roxy, Roxy, it's not nice to abandon your friends like that. <laughs> Those men are terrifying! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Easy, R2. Down there! Look! I can't believe it! Those ghouls can fly! But if I'm dreaming, then I don't want to wake up! Girls, we need to get these people out of here! If you want to be alone with me for a while, then all you have to do is ask! Why do you bother defending these humans? Their destiny is already sealed! When the power of the last fairy on Earth is in my hands, then the Wizards of the Black Circle will rule the world! <laughs> There is no escape. Wizards of the Black Circle, let us complete our mission. Oh. I'm here, Roxy. Dragon Wing! Ogron! She's getting away from us! <laughs> Follow her! <laughs> Don't let her get away again! We need to get her as far away as we can. Let's go! Uh, miss, what's going on? Well, let's see. It's a little hard to explain, but basically, we're looking out for your future. <sighs> Are you all right? I'm perfectly fine, thank you. Oh, apart from the fact that I hate flying. Oh, but you'll hmm? be flying with us one last time into the Black Circle. Roxy, run for it! Solar Storm! Yeah. You'll regret that, there he is. Stella! Those girls are risking their lives for me. Wait for me, R2. We can't go back home or to the Fruity Music Bar. I don't want to put Dad in danger as well. We need to find a hiding place. No, R2, I'd follow you anywhere but not down the sewer. Find her. She can't have gone far. <laughs> Ew! R2? Bravo, R2. You found a dry place. Stella has been so brave. I'd like to be like her, but I'm too scared. Scared of being a fairy. But you are a fairy, Roxy. You are the fairy of animals. You don't have to be afraid. The animals will help you if you want. Who are you? You'll find out soon enough. You believed in the other fairies. Now you have to believe in yourself. Just like I believe in you. Oh! oh. oh. R2, no! <laughs> Super Prism! <laughs> no! Leave them alone. We're only interested in the last fairy right now. We'll deal with them later. Where's Roxy? <laughs> I think I've found our solution. No more messing around, do you hear me? <gasps> <laughs> Here's your art. Stop! Don't hurt him! That'll depend on you, Roxy. This ends now. Surrender. <gasps> Let the opening appear. <laughs> Let the doors to the Black Circle open wide. Now! up everything to save her dog. For a powerful fairy, she's not very smart. We need to do something now! Aww. Roxy, 
You are a fairy and I believe in you. Yes, I am the fairy of animals. The animals will save me. I did it! We need to break the wizard's magic link. We need a combined action to close the door. Then we'll use our Believix attack powers in a magic convergence. Fire arrow! Megawatt! Autumn wind! Oh, harmonic attack! Perfect way! Sun dance! to convince you. Oh, touch it. You don't mind if we join you. Oh, 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 oh. May we partake as well? Nebu, it's nice to see you again. Are you all right, Layla? Yes, now that you're here, I am. Layla, don't make such a big fuss. We were doing just fine all by ourselves. Really? It looked to me like it was just the opposite. never learn, do you? If you want to mess with the Winks, then sooner or later, you'll have to deal with the specialists. Attack! <laughs> Miss? Tell me, Ogron, how does the hunter feel when he becomes the prey? Quiet! I'm not like the others! I absorb damage and turn it into strength! The specialists have weakened us, Ogron! Dragonheart! Yes! We're too weak to fight, Ogron! I can't fight them all by myself. This isn't over till we meet again! never forget what you did for me. Actually, without the specialist's help, I don't know how it would have ended this time. We could have handled it. We just needed a little more time, that's all. Yep. We would have beaten them is the point. Ugh. Well, I'd better get going. My dad's gonna think I got lost. Are you going to the fruity music bar? We'll go too! <laughs> What do you say? You want to celebrate too? Celebrate what? We did free Roxy. We? So you admit that we also... You were handling the situation. And we trust you implicitly. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a nice day. I've never been so happy to be back at work. I bet. Because you're a fairy now, and nothing is going to be the same. You have to be very careful. Roxy, where have you been? Where were you? I looked everywhere. Well, I went for a bit of a workout. And where did he come from? He's not another one of your homeless animals, is he? The warehouse is full already. I'm tripping over them in there. There are pets everywhere. Huh. All right, but this is the last one. You hear me? The last one. Girls, this is my father. Good morning. Dad, these are my new friends. Pleased to meet you. Roxy here is obsessed with animals. All of them, every shape and size. In fact, the uglier and dirtier they are, the better. <sighs> Roxy, I found a way to improve our service here. Come here, guys. I've hired extra help. Huh? Here they are. Don't you know these guys? Let me make the introductions. This is Smile. Nice to meet you, Smile. What a nice name. Is that because you're always smiling? Well, it depends on my girlfriend. If she smiles, then I smile too. <laughs> then we have Brandy, Rivet, Tobias, and you are... Please help me, I'm hopeless with names. No, go on. You're doing very well. <laughs> Naboo, sir. I'm Naboo. That's right, Boo Boo. I almost forgot. Hmm. And who are you? You're not on my list. 
Well, I don't work here. I'm just a friend. You can call me Jimmy. Okay then, hi Timmy. <laughs> I thought you might be able to use a few extra hands behind the bar. What do you think? Just watch it, guys. I'm hiring you to work at the Fruity Music Bar on a professional level. You uh, get my drift? With an only daughter as pretty as my little Roxy here, you can never be too careful. Oh, Dad, how embarrassing. Don't worry, we'll keep an eye on them. What happened to your pizza delivery jobs? They fired us. It was all the skate's fault. We were too fast. Pizzas were delivered quicker, but they were cold. What did I tell you? These guys are like lightning, the masters of speed. Oh, really? If that's true, then we should put them to the test right away. <laughs> to know you better, Roxy. You are one brave girl, you know. It's true. Anybody in your shoes would have been scared. What happened to you when you were about to be sucked into the portal? I don't know. I heard a voice that was telling me to fight. To not lose hope. It's the same voice I hear in my dreams. <laughs> Kiko, back! Oh, Ginger, you fast. Did you give yourself a bath? Coco, are you hungry? I'll get you something to eat. Shall we dance, Pepe? <laughs> Chico, do you spend the whole day talking to the neighbor's canary? Tell the truth. Oh, Millie, you are so cute. I just want to cuddle you. <laughs> we need to get in touch with Miss Farragonda. Let's do it fast. I need to apply my beauty creams. It'll only take a minute, Stella. The headmistress is online. Hello, girls. How is everything going on Earth? Something wonderful happened. We found the last fairy on Earth. Her name is Roxy, and thanks to her, we've become Believix fairies. That's wonderful. I knew that sooner or later it would happen. Well, in the beginning, it was hard because Roxy didn't want to believe in us or the fairy world. Then she realized that the only way to save herself from the Wizards of the Black Circle was to believe in fairies. Now, I'm afraid the hard part starts. The fairy hunters will be back, and you will need all your strength to defend and protect Roxy. But how? Not even the Believix powers work against them. Mm. Ah. You haven't mm. explored all your new powers. For example, did you know that you have three different wing powers? Oh! The super velocity wings, the magic trail wings, and the teleport wings. Teleport? This is the only way that you'll be able to beat the wizards. Then you will fully experience the transformation. And as you know, it won't be the last one. Did you hear me, Stella? Yes, of course I did, Headmistress. But you know, I don't mean to brag. You should have seen me in a battle with my new powers. I really rocked. I promise you, Headmistress Farragonda, we'll do our best. You'll be proud of us. I'm sure I will, Bloom. What do you think you're doing? I've got to choose a nail polish that goes with all three pairs of Believix wings. <laughs> As long as we fairies are around, and as long as we follow this guidebook, then nobody on Earth will ever suffer. Soon we'll be ready to fight the wizard. <laughs> and 
we'll restore harmony to the people on Earth by making them believe in fairies. It's so easy to believe in things. For example, I believe that in one minute, you'll feel better. Roxy believes in us. We can't disappoint her. She has great powers and she's impulsive. She reminds me of how I was in the beginning. I was really scared. Lucky for me, the Winks were there. I trust them, but I don't trust myself. It's like I'm scared of who I am. And that voice, I wonder if I'll hear it again. Roxy, follow your memories. I'm waiting for you. Don't forget, you don't want to overdo it. <laughs> I don't know how to thank you. He was so lazy before. How do you do it? What's your secret? <laughs> the formula is always the same. Cuddles and love. <laughs> and a few sweets. Can someone please give me a hand? <laughs> well, yes, the customer is always right. <laughs> but I didn't think the dancing was so contagious. Oh, yeah, I can't help it. This place just gets me going. Oh. <laughs> Bye, Palu. Come back and visit us. It's too bad these pets can't speak. You know, coming from you, that sounds very funny. You think so? Well, this is definitely an easier way to communicate, and a lot more fun, I might add. Unfortunately, <laughs> the effects of my magic only last a short time. But that short time is wonderful. Someone seems to be a little jealous. Off with that sad little face, because a triple huh? share of cuddling is coming. There. <laughs> Huh? huh? What's that you're saying exactly? Wait a minute. I'm not sure I understood that right. Uh, I don't know if I can do that for all of you. Well, I guess I can give it my best shot. Phew, finally a minute of peace. Guys, want to take a break? Shh, wait, don't come out yet. Hey, who is that? You heard her. Come on, Pepe, let's come out. You first. I'm shy. Go on, Coco. Why don't you go first, Ginger? No way. I say Belle goes first. Hmm, sounds like somebody's hiding around here. Or it might just be a clumsy little thief. Well, come on out, little thief. A thief? Is there a thief in the shop? I hope it's not a robbery. Oh. Oh, every man for himself. This is impossible. The pets, they're... Talking. <laughs> Maybe I'm losing my mind, but they were talking. Huh? What? Are you sure? It's true. I heard them too. They all speak, and at the same time, too. What's going on? Hi, Bloom. Huh? <laughs> Kiko. Oh, Kiko, you too? You? Yes, Bloom. I've always dreamed of this moment. Finally, I can talk to you and you can hear my voice. Kiko, Kiko, I'm so happy. Say something to me, little one. Say anything. Uh, when do we eat? This is your doing, right? Thanks, Roxy. It's a wonderful present. I'm glad you like it, but it doesn't last very long. I'm not great with my spells yet. But you sure are proving yourself as the fairy of animals. Thanks, but it still scares me a bit. It's all so new. And I have to confess, despite my powers, I still don't see myself as a fairy. I just can't feel it. I felt those same insecurities, Roxy, and it's totally normal at first. 
Is there a way out of it? I'm just so confused. Well, I got over it thanks to some wonderful people. People like Mike and Vanessa. And Kegel! My adoptive parents have always helped and supported me. They understood me when nobody else did. They made me feel good about myself, even when I was down. It's thanks to them that I have the self-confidence that I have today. Are you saying that I should tell my father everything that's happening and that I'm a fairy? Yes, I think so. <laughs> no, I can't just disrupt my father's life. When the threat from the wizards is over, I want to go back to my old life. Being a fairy takes too much responsibility. I want to be what I've always been, a regular girl. But you are a regular girl who happens to have special powers. I understand why that scares you. You'll see, eventually you'll get used to it. And by the way, it's not your powers that make you unique, it's your personality. And that's what we love about you. That and your awesome hair, of course. All right, I'll try. I'll talk to my father. But I know this sure isn't going to be easy. There he is. Come on, Roxy, take a deep breath. <clears throat> uh, hi, Dad. Can I talk to you for a minute? I know that tone. Huh? Did you get in trouble? No trouble, Dad. It's just that, well, I... Let's hear it. I'm a fairy. That's nice, Roxy. Huh? Come on, Dad. I need your attention. Can you put your paper down for a minute? This is serious. I'm not joking around. Now, I'm not that good yet, and I can't transform, but look. Um, wait a second. Look at this. Huh? All right, what is it I'm supposed to be seeing, Roxy? You sure you're okay? All right, maybe this will get your attention. Looks like it's your turn, R2. Don't be scared, Mr. Klaus, but Roxy can make me speak. She really is very powerful. Is that all? A talking dog? Dad, I just showed you what I can do. How can you be so nonchalant? That's easy, because I can do much better. Huh? Oh! <laughs> oh no, it's a trap! The Wizards of the Black Circle! Dumon, where's my father? <laughs> Don't worry, little fairy, you'll join him very soon! <laughs> oh, oh, uh, uh, Roxy! No, R2, it's useless attacking them! They're too strong! Run away before it's too late! Let him go! We've got our prey, the last fairy on Earth! I said run away! I love my dream, and now I can't... All right, that's enough! One at a time! Quiet! I've had it with these chatty pets! Hey, when do we eat? I'm hungry! I'm Roxy, in danger! The Wizards of the Black Circle, huh? Sorry, everyone. Due to unforeseen circumstances, we have to close early today. But I had an appointment. I've been waiting for ages. We're really sorry, but we'll make it up to you by giving your pets a free star treatment. Kiko, you and the pets take care of R2. Ha! Come on, girls. Let's go help Roxy. Winks Belivix! The to get there faster, let's use our teleport wings. Winks do it! Sure looks like the signs of a fight, but no sign of Roxy. We've got to be able to see what happened, and the best way to do that is to look into the past. 
Right, and let's use our new Tracix wings. Wings Tracix! Show us! Excellent, thanks to you, the Winx will soon fall into our trap. We'll promise an exchange and then renege. You'll stay with us, sweet little fairy. <laughs> what kind of exchange could Ogron be talking about? Look, he left a message. You really are very amusing, little fairies. Oh, so predictable. Now, I'm sure you're here to learn the whereabouts of your little friend. Listen carefully. I want the White Circle. If you want to see Roxy again, give it to Dumont, who'll be disguised as Klaus at the Fruity Music Bar. And no tricks, or you'll never see sweet Roxy again! He didn't choose the Fruity Music Bar by accident. He knows we couldn't do anything in such a crowded place. And he won't keep his promise anyway. But why does he want the White Circle? Here are two pistachios, just the thing to get you back on your feet. Uh, huh? Hey, hey. Oh. Very, very good. You, you naughty. Forget it, Kiko. I feel much better now. Hey, where do you think you're going? On a mission. I've got a friend to rescue. guys doing? You shouldn't be here. Neither should you. Bloom told me to keep an eye on you, and that's exactly what I'm doing. It's too dangerous. Take the pets home before they get hurt. I've lost Roxy's trail. I've got to find Roxy's trail again. Okay, pets. Attention! Soldiers, our friend has lost his fairy. And it's up to us to help him find her! Go! This way! <laughs> that way! Huh? Quick, hurry! Oh, 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 oh. You too, oh. Chico! Coming! Oh, I love this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't smell her. Wait a minute. I can feel her again. It's definitely her. Roxy's near. That's it. She's in there. Yes, Bloom, the wizards are here. But it's hard to pretend not to notice. Watch out for Klaus. It's really Dumon transformed. We've got to proceed with caution. Roxy and Klaus's lives are hanging by a thread. If they think we're just gonna sit here, they are so wrong. Stop! They saw us. <laughs> Get out of there immediately! We're coming! Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Incendiary pepper milkshake. One more. <coughs> hey, Klaus, your drinks are awful tonight. Tumon really knows how to empty a place. Oh well. Easy come, easy go. Would you like a fruit smoothie, sweet fairies? Dumon, where's Roxy? What have you done with her? Oh, young people, always so full of questions. Give me the white circle, then we'll talk. Don't even think about it. First, tell us where Roxy is. She's here. Oh, oh, there she is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shh, quiet or they'll catch us. I don't get it. Who are these people? Why kidnap us? What do they want? Don't worry, Roxy. As soon as I get untied, I'll get us out of here. These guys don't scare me. Poor Dad. What have I gotten him into? I'll never forgive myself for this. Wait a minute. Someone's here. I can feel it. Huh? Oh, Ron. Look. We got a problem. The Winks. What? What do you mean they're attacking you? Another. 
It means he's gone soft in the head. Hmm. Uh oh! Retreat! Get away! Think you're pretty smart, huh? What are you sobbing about? It's just a dog. What? Just a dog? Just a dog? You're going to pay for this, you monster! Hey, I did it! I managed to transform into a fairy! Dad, R2, don't worry, I'll help you. Very good, little one, but now what are you planning on doing? My attack magic is weak compared to a wizard, but maybe there is something. I'm the fairy of animals! <laughs> Gantlers is in trouble. Better make this quick. Dumon, get the white circle! Now! Wait, believe it! You're magical. All you gotta do is believe in yourself. so we don't wreck anything. Good idea. Come on, Ogron. If you want the white circle, come and get it! <laughs> you fairies are gonna have to do better than that! Mind if we join the party, my love? Rabu, my sweet! I was wondering where you were! We just needed to get changed. Fortunately, I see our timing is excellent. Right, specialists? Super Prism! Well, looks like we arrived just in time to get rescued by you! Watch out, Nabu! Huh? Yeah! Yeah! <clears throat> Watch out, guys! We know how dangerous they are! Huh? You know it, do you? <laughs>
finish them off with... Wait! I feel something! It's Roxy's magic trail! Yes, we feel it too! They found her! And now they'll try to free her! We've got to do something to stall them! Come on! Right, let's follow them! Come on, guys! What? Roxy, no! Oh, Ron, I... Uh... Yes, I know. The situation got beyond your control. Now we make up for it! Huh? But first you'll have to deal with us! Roxy, you transformed into a fairy! Yes, but oh... No, R2, R2, answer me! You can't be! You can't! I see we've all arrived. Beware, we'll do whatever it takes to get the White Circle. I can't wait to activate the Emperor's throne. And you will. As soon as we get the other seals. And when we do, we'll rule! <laughs> you know what, Icy? You already rule. Oh, Titanus. <laughs> oh, this is getting ridiculous. Ugh, tell me when it's over. A la 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 To the pillar of balance! <laughs> and the second seal! <laughs> Titanus is leaving. I can warn Bloom. Soon. Soon. My fellow sovereigns, Tritanus has already taken the seal from the Pillar of Light. Will we allow him to attack the other pillars of the infinite ocean? And how do we know he will do that? Do you propose that we wait to find out? We must protect the pillars of balance and control. Yes! I must protect my kingdom. <sighs> we will not stand for this, Leave We must we stop. Must I agree. Don't you we understand, understand how dangerous he is? Father, Arachleon must defend the pillars. No, Arachleon must defend itself. And as Crown Prince, I would expect you would know that, my son. But the best defense of our planet is to join the fight with the other realms. We are stronger no, together. No, no. For us, Arachlean must always come first. That is our duty. How can you say that? Princess Bloom, this is between me and my son. I did not ask for your opinion. But a king can be wrong. And Sky, I believe you think he is. Bloom. If you will excuse us. But Sky, I, I think your audience with the Crown Prince is over, Bloom. <laughs> hey, huh? you were humming. Oh, sorry. I guess I got a little carried away by the music. <laughs> That's okay. Actually, it's great. That was my mother's favorite song. She used to sing it to me when I was little. Uh, hey, uh, what's that wonderful sound underneath the tune in that song? That's the sound of the singing whales of melody.
The whale's song reminds me of my mother and how happy we were at home on Melody. You really miss her, don't you? Always, but especially today, because... Uh... Oh, man. I'm really sorry, Musa, but... Uh... I've gotta go. What? Y yeah, I, um... I'll talk to you later. Riven! Oh, man. What was that about? Weird. Where did he run off to? You know, sometimes I just don't understand him at all. I think we're getting along great, and then... <gasps> what? Musa, what's the matter? <gasps> Oh. I'm sure there's a good explanation. Well, well, I'd like to hear it. Huh? What's Kiko up to? <laughs> I guess I'm not the only one who's unlucky in love. Oh, Musa. I'll be okay, because today is a very special day. You know, it's the Singing Whales Day. Today, the Singing Whales of Melody reveal themselves. Hello, Musa. Hi, Dad. How are you? Are you at the Song Wharf? Well, of course I am, darling. You know that there is no way that I would ever miss seeing the singing whales and hearing their song. Ooh, show me! They're so beautiful! Sky wouldn't even listen to me! Sky loves you, Bloom. He, he told me to go away! Well, rude, but come on, you totally know that he still totally loves you. But he didn't show it. Bloom, Bloom! Daphne? Tritanus is on his way to the Pillar of Balance to take the seal! Daphne! You must hurry, Bloom. The Pillar of Balance! Stop him! <gasps> Tritanus is on the move. The Pillar of Balance! Let's shake things up! Stop! No! You may not approach the Pillar of Balance! That's what you think, you shrimps! Selkies! Battle formation! <laughs> Pathetic! <laughs> Isn't he wonderful? Oh, yeah. Totally. Ha ha ha!
Power of Balance! Rock and roll! Ha ha ha! One step closer to ultimate domination of the magic dimension! You and me! We rule! <laughs> <laughs> you, you and, and me! me. <laughs> they don't even know we're here. Plus, they don't even care. And when Tritanus is Emperor, and Icy is Empress, what are we gonna be? Their personal assistants. I don't think so. Let's show them they need us. Do some evil on our own? Yep. Starting now. But uh, don't worry. They'll never even know we're gone. Come on! Tannis has the seal! for this. Bloom! Melody is falling apart! Everywhere is falling apart! It's the pillar of balance! I've got to get home! Fast! We'll take the Odyssey Explorer. You guys meet us at the yacht, then we can go straight to Melody together. What's happening? Looks like Bloom was right. Tritanus has hit us again. Huh? Huh? <gasps> Father, what should we do? Listen, Sky. We must return to Arachleon immediately. Our kingdom is in danger. Go home! Secure your realms! Protect your citizens! <laughs> It's tough sledding out here. How much farther? We are approaching the coordinates from the map. Not much longer. Uh. Uh. Hold on! Uh. This is crazy! Uh. I've never seen it like this. But without the singing whales, where could they have gone? Don't worry, Musa. We'll find them! This is it! Then let's get down there! Before this whole place falls apart! Winx, transform! Magic Winx! Flora, fairy of 
Sphinx! They're here! Bloom! Winx! Tritanus has the seal! And he's headed this way! With Icy! Let's, Let's ambush, ambush them. them! Ambush? I like it! Yeah! You guys take on Icy. Check! We'll handle Tritanus. And take back the seal. Wait until you have a clear shot at them and act together. Now everybody, hide! Over here, you guys! <laughs> hurry, hurry! Right behind you! In here! <laughs> We've got the second seal. Let's collect all three. <laughs> <laughs> Where are Darcy and Stormy? I don't know. Maybe they're just late? Something's not right. <sighs> I'm so looking forward to having power over, like, everything. What could be better? Hmm. Let me think about it. Nothing! <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Ready! Let's do this! Go get them, Winx! <laughs> the Winx! What? Blinding Ray! Spreading fire! Nyad's attack! <laughs> Digital Strike! Lotus Flower! <laughs> Get away from her! Light Diamond! Uh, lava Gap! Neptune Sting! Watch out! Tritanus, get away! Don't worry, Stella. We're on it! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Have a nice nap. Oh, no! <gasps> Tritanus! I see! I'm coming! Romeo, we've got plans for you. Trouble, Tritanus. Ha! You two don't scare me.
someone's a little slow. <sighs> Give it to me! <sighs> event planner of the magic dimension? Promise to make you stars of a cutting-edge fashion show! <coughs> well? What's the problem, Critty? Don't you like it? was a gift! On second thought, your natural look is very... very you. Stick with that. No, 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 no! You're gorgeous! Outfit is perfect on you, trust me. It's nice to see I'm not the only one with good taste around here. <gasps> Shiny! Stella! Huh? Aren't you ready yet? Is everything okay? Uh, do you need any help in here? I mean, uh, is everything okay with your bird? Ah. It was Stella's big idea to put on a fashion show with the fairy animals, and now she's the one who's late. How is this a surprise? Stella's always late. I'm more concerned about the whole animal fashion show idea. 
Maybe Stella doesn't realize that the fairy animals like to have fun in different ways than we do. Huh? <laughs> How about a romantic trip? Oh, Sky, that sounds so nice. You, me, an exotic setting. Don't panic! Huh? 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 Here I am. Let's get this fashion show started. <laughs> Nothing can stop us now. Oh. That's one of Roxy's yaffles. If it's here, it must be an emergency. Let's go. Does this mean we have to postpone the fashion show? Is that a yes? Oh, you got here just in time. More animals are in danger. I knew it. So where is it this time? It's... it's on Earth. In the Sumatra jungle, the tigers who live there are in big trouble. They're being hunted by poachers. It's their fault the tigers are endangered. No, it's something much worse. A dangerous, magical force. <laughs> Are you sure it's a good idea to take the fairy animals? We don't have much of a choice. Remember how much trouble they caused at Alfea last time? Don't worry. Huh? This time you can count on us. <laughs> Those tigers need our help as soon as possible. Is everyone ready? <laughs> Good luck, Winx. is to get the fairy animals in line. Trip, why don't we resume the fashion show? Uh, I know, best idea ever, right? Let's go! <gasps> Shiny, stop! What's going on back there? Oh no, Stella! Hmm. 
fix it, right? Uh, uh, it's simple, isn't it? Uh, uh, Helia, Brandon, mm. stay here and guard the owl. Huh? Hmm. You guys come with me. We'll go into the jungle and find the tigers. You guys go that hmm. direction. Hmm. We'll cover more ground that way. When I said I wanted to take a trip with you, this isn't exactly what I had in mind. Just being with you makes me happy enough, Sky. <sighs> well, it's not a vacation, <laughs> but it is kind of romantic. Guys? Huh? Flora, huh? what's wrong? The trees around here are unhappy. There's something very dangerous and very close. Uh. Huh? Oh, Timmy sent me some <gasps> coordinates. There are tigers approaching our <gasps> position. Uh? Huh? Hmm. Look at that! Tracks! Uh, 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 oh, and they aren't tiger footprints. Uh, what kind of creature made these? Uh, I would guess a monster. And I bet it's still out there. Plants and trees. Huh? They're all warning me about this, right here. So this is the cause of our problems. But what is it? Hmm. You must learn to control wild magic. Wild to control wild wild. Any living being can turn into the most aggressive creature. Into the most aggressive creature. A wild magic source! Huh? A chaotic huh? and aggressive form of natural huh? energy! Huh? If that's true, then whatever's after the tigers must be a powerful shape shifted monster! Here are 
the tigers. Oh. Huh? Aw, they're just cubs. <laughs> but I don't think they like us. In any case, we have to get them to a safe place. If they stay here, they're in danger. We can't force them to come with us. I have an idea. Maybe we can earn their trust with a little food. They've calmed down, but we need something more to convince them we're on their side here. Let's use our Butterflix powers. Aisha, fairy of waves. Techna, fairy of technology. The Butterflix power is a gift from nature. They'll trust us now. Let's show them that we're here to help them. Can you four tell us what had you so scared? Can you show us? Let's go! Even touch them. Hunting. So you were poachers. Before getting exposed to the wild magic, anyway. We 
Please forgive us. We'll protect nature for the rest of our lives. Winx, our mission isn't completely accomplished yet. We need to find a safe home for them. And I think I have the perfect idea. <laughs> New Animal Rescue Park! Right here in Gardenia! Huh? <laughs> Come huh? see the New Animal <laughs> Rescue Park! Hey, everybody! We're trying to help animals in trouble, but we need your support. Whoa. That was the last neighborhood. Whew. We're all done. Not exactly! The moment for my animal fashion show has come! Animals, all animals really, like to have fun in different ways than we do. I get it. This is like a party. And what really matters at a party is that everybody enjoys themselves in their own way. <laughs> what are you doing? You're supposed to be enjoying yourself with me. <laughs> The Unicorn Secret. about to become an endless odyssey? <laughs> no, it means the more we buy, the more we save! Roxy's expecting us. Don't worry, I made a list. Uh. <sighs> Welcome, everyone, to the Animal Rescue Park. <laughs> All animals in need of help or care can find a home here. Uh-huh. I found an abandoned kitten. Oh. <gasps> and I found an injured dog along the way. Oh. Huh. Oh. Can you bring this turtle back to its natural habitat? <laughs> mm -hmm. You came to the right place. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take care of these little ones for as long as they need. <laughs> <laughs> Should have let the winks know we were coming. 
Mommy? Don't forget, they said, don't call us, we'll call you. That's why we... Here they come! Huh? <laughs> we'll give them a surprise! <laughs> and now, we'll give you a tour of our park. Pixies? We're trying to help out! Huh? <laughs> well, I wouldn't put it that way. We all wanted to surprise you! <laughs> <laughs> A small present for you, little ones! include lightning. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's a yaffle. Huh? <laughs> that means Roxy needs us. Yay! A mission! Let's go! Ready, set, charge! Sorry, Pixies. Huh? You can't come. But maybe you can help around here. Can we? Really? Finish bathing the cubs and make sure they have fun. Easy peasy! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which animals are in danger this time? These are the Qingling Mountains in China. The pandas there are in danger. <gasps> Come on, girls. Huh? Let's huh? transform. <gasps> Magic wings, butterflicks. Bloom, fairy of the dragon flame. Flora, fairy of nature. Stella, fairy of the shining sun. Aisha, fairy of waves. Musa, fairy of music. Techna, fairy of technology. Another animal in danger? What kind? Mysterious? Ancient? Oh, and powerful?
Get behind me! I'll handle this! Back away from the pandas! They're under my protection. We're here to help the pandas, not hurt them. Uh-huh. Yes, we love pandas. <laughs> oh. Uh. Oh. And by the way, this is the proper way to use a fan. Hmm. Oh. How do I know I can trust you? I'd like to tell you that you have our word, but you probably need more concrete proof. We 
have to get back. Hmm. Huh? Whoa. Whoa. Huh? Come on. We need to find another way. You and your friends are very brave. I'm sorry that I was suspicious of you before. My name is Mei Li. I'm Bloom. So how come you're living out here, Mei Li? I want to protect the pandas. Alone? Pandas are almost extinct because of humans. So I don't trust anyone anymore. You're right, Mei Li. Some people don't care about saving animals. But not all people are like that. <gasps> Look. There it is. The river is contaminated with wild magic. Maybe the monster was transformed because it drank from it. No! Mei Li! Wait! These cages have magic that's stronger than ours. I don't like being in a cage. Especially if the cage is cramped and uncomfortable. The poor pandas, they're trapped just like us. And there's not even a nice view. A boutique window, for example. Stella? Sorry. Let's just hope Bloom figures something out. Ugh. Leave her alone! I don't want to hurt you. And I don't think you want to hurt... Me! Ah! See if I can temporarily weaken the power of your horn. I knew it. It's working. that you weren't really a monster. I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt you. I can feel that your heart is pure. After I drank the water from the pond, I changed. I started to attack whoever approached it. The water is contaminated by wild magic. It transformed you into an aggressive being. But now, I am myself again. Thanks to you. Hmm. Look, the cages are gone. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> I feel the same way, sweet pandas. Free! <laughs> Look, that path shows us the way to go. Sorry that I hurt you. <gasps> the 
unicorn could not control its actions. turned into an out-of-control monster. You're right, Bloom. But I don't know how we can remove it. Nature gave me the power to change things that might hurt other creatures. You did a good thing. Now the water is safe for everyone. Now you can live here, and nothing will ever harm you again. I think the pandas like this place. <laughs> it looks like they don't need me anymore. I'm happy for them, but I'll miss them too. What will you do now? Go back to my village. I'll find some of those people you talked about, Bloom. The ones I can trust. Hmm. They are out there, and they'll be lucky to know you. Thank you for everything. <laughs> Goodbye, sweet panda. I'm going to miss you. <laughs> now you're free. Free to live a happy life. Free to have a future. <laughs> Goodbye, Winx. <gasps> Banana Day. We're outnumbered, and we're surrounded. Guys, this is our last chance. And our last... Banana!
of pests. Hmm? They have improved greatly since they arrived here at our center. <laughs> now, they're ready to go back to their natural habitat. Actually, we were thinking of staying here to lend a hand, and... Someone has to take the lemurs back to their home. So, they will have all the bananas they want. Here's the legendary lemur's forest. We could find the fairy animal with the ultimate power here. Hmm? Yeah, it's also an ideal place for a vacation. <sighs> Dear brother, surely you have noticed that something is missing from the lemur's forest? Oh, right, a real <laughs> hammock. Or the guy who fans you with palm leaves? Brophilius, what is missing from the uh, lemur's forest? What is missing from the lemur's forest? Uh, lemurs! Uh, there are uh, no lemurs in the lemur's oh. forest! Oh, I'll go look for them, Count Shara. <laughs> Wait, jellyfish. <laughs> The lemurs cannot survive without the bananas that grow here. They'll show up soon enough. Come on, you little ones. You're home now. <sighs> bananas! <laughs> Uh, none of the animals is the lemur we're looking for. Shall we get out of here? No. It's a unique opportunity uh, to get rid of the fairies and their friends oh. once and for all. Transformation! Magic Winks, Butterflix! Bloom, Fairy of the Dragon Flame! Musa, Fairy of Music! Techna, fairy of technology. Flora, fairy of nature. Aisha, fairy of waves. Stella, fairy of the shining sun. Us, we can't beat them! Then cast a spell on the bananas! Create a monster army to fight for us! the banana wants to bite the monkey. Specialists, let's protect the lemurs! Flora, watch out! Blanket of leaves! Stupid banana! <laughs> you cannot even control your own magic. 
Hurry, Timmy! They're coming back! <laughs> Prismatic Ray! They're multiplying! It's impossible to hit them all! I ask for nature to help break Rephilius' spell! Natural Whisper! It didn't work! The plants can't hear my call! Leave it to me! I'll use the power of light to break Brophilius's evil spell! Flux of light! Oh no! Breaking the spell destroys the bananas! The evil magic has contaminated the plants! They won't produce real bananas anymore! And without the bananas, the lemurs can't survive in their habitat. We have to travel back in time and bring a healthy banana back to the present. Yeah, that's the only way you can get new banana-producing trees to grow! Huh? I will prevent it, fairies. Brophilius will pin you down and... Uh, uh, I would do that, Kalshara, if I could just get rid of this monster! Go! Quickly! We'll hold these monsters back! banana trees. Maybe this isn't the same forest where we were before. Huh? What do we do now? Simple. I'll get in tune with nature. Follow me! <gasps> Look! There's a lemur behind that rock! And where there are lemurs, there are bananas! Strange. Uh, since when do rocks have hair? Come on out, little one. I know you're hiding back there. Hmm. Huh? Uh. 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 
We can't get any closer. Uh, let me go, you giant monkey! I will try my special power. Melody of Fairies! Mm. Mm. Find it and save Stella. And to think we just came back in time to find a banana. Ah! Oh, I just got an idea! Flora, lead us to the banana grove. Uh -huh. Here we are. Don't waste time. We have to save Stella. We'll use bananas to lure the giant lemur and set Stella free! <sighs> but we have to hurry before it's too late! <laughs> Is this your house? <laughs> I can't imagine what you're so proud of. <laughs> it really needs a woman's touch. <coughs> <laughs> thanks for the hospitality. But no thanks. Never see you again. eat this stuff? Mm. <laughs> oh, my stars! Can you tell me what you want from me? Mm. <sighs> oh. <gasps> A tailor-made dress for me? Mm. Wow, that's nice! Mm. Oh, and flowers, too? <laughs> <laughs> they are beautiful! Hmm? Are you gonna marry me? <laughs> In your big hairy dreams! <laughs> I bet you haven't brushed your teeth ever! Hey, buddy! Look what I brought you! Taste them! They're delicious! Shilted for a banana? Stella, we're over here! 
Come on, we gotta get out! <laughs> oh, wait! I cannot return to the present dressed like this! Okay, we're ready to return to the present now. Oh no! You again! Come on, jellyfish! Chase them into the past! <laughs> the wings! Uh, who is that one? A real pain, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> the girls are back! Huh? But Stella's in the hands of the Mega Lemur! Huh? <laughs> Something! Let my girlfriend go! Raphilius, use your dark diamond and find out if that is the fairy animal with the ultimate power. <laughs> For once, maybe it is better to beat a strategic retreat. <laughs> Uh, uh, Kalshara is running away! Leave her alone, Flora. We have a bigger problem to solve. <sighs> Leave it to me. I will make the banana grove luxuriant as it was long ago. weren't bad, now that it's realized our love was never meant to be. Mm. 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 